Hello and welcome back to the Rock River Valley Traction Company. Today we're going to take a quick minute to look at this dump car, uh, making some minor modifications to it to make it operate a little bit easier. Uh, so a little history on the dump car. It's constructed uh, from half of a 500 gallon fuel barrel. Uh, everything is scratch built, including the trucks. Uh, this car has two doors in it, in the bottom, and you can kind of see them uh, right there and right there. Um, originally, when I made this car, I put uh, this hand crank. Uh, there was one on each side. I've already modified uh, half of this car, but um, there was a hand crank on each side, and uh, you turn the turn the crank. This. And the door, door opens. Um, you know, it works great, but it's a little tiring after you get done shoveling this car full of dirt and then got to open this crank. And well, I wanted something a little bit easier to deal with, so um, I've been looking for some gear motors, uh, looking online in various places, and couldn't really find uh, what I needed. I happened to be cleaning out the, the car barn out here uh, about a month ago and I ran across two motors, uh, two gear motors. And here's, here's what the motor looks like. Um, it's a 24 volt DC motor and it's, I don't know if you can see that, but it says Eclipse Aircraft Engine Starter. Um, it's stenciled that it's uh, 700 foot pounds of torque, which is more than enough. Uh, to operate the doors and there were two of them so uh, just by sheer luck those things were laying here and uh, they fit perfectly I've got one side modified already I'll show you here so it just happens to fit in there perfectly like it was made for it uh, and then the chain now just goes right over to the Acme screw and there's the Acme screw. You can see that it's right there. That's what operates the door slide. All right, so pretty simple, pretty simple deal there. Uh, this uh, white box is a power supply. I've got one for the other side. It's really overkill, but I had all the stuff, so I thought, hey, why not just make it uh, as powerful as possible? Here's a little view uh, inside inside that box. A um, couple of transformers in there to take the 110 volts, step it down uh, to about 12 volts. And then uh, there's some um, bridge rectifiers there and there, one for each transformer. Those are outputs are tied together in parallel. Uh, go to these two little reversing contactors so, uh, to select open and close the door. And then uh, this little guy right here is what connects the uh, output uh, actually to the motor. So that's like a start-stop contactor. And then uh, on the top of the box, there's just uh, two buttons. So there's uh, open-close toggle and then a run-stop. Uh, so pretty simple. And uh, like I said, I've already got this one side modified. Uh, it works really, really nicely. Uh, I filled the car up with dirt just to make sure that there was plenty of torque and yeah I'm pretty sure that uh, if your arm was was in there even with the full load of dirt it would still chop your arm off like there's plenty of power here um, so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna take this uh, hand crank off of here and uh, put the motor in its place we're gonna mount the box and uh, hook it all up and I'll show you how it works just like that, the hand crank is gone, and we have a motor mounted on here. So you can kind of see this uh, aircraft starter motor all mounted up. Fits in there perfect. I just can't believe uh, it's like it's made for it. And uh, now this chain here, uh, I've got to shorten the chain up so that it will uh, be the appropriate length to go, go between these two sprockets. 
And then we gotta get that box uh, mounted up here. So that's, that's the next step. Make the chain, get the box mounted, uh, and then we'll wire it all up. So we've got the uh, chain on here now. It's all been shortened up, uh, tied in, and uh, mounted the box. Well, not quite. It's still being held up there with the uh, vice grips, but I've drilled the holes, and we just got to put some bolts in there. Uh, another thing that has to be done is uh, a conduit that connects these two boxes. So I've got the, the hole drilled here and then uh, over here put a piece of half inch uh, rigid conduit there. Uh, the power comes out of this box and it feeds this one, uh, which I guess I should mention there's a uh, power cord that runs over to this end of the car it's right here and uh, so we just got a regular 110 uh, plug and and that can just plug right into uh, the steeple cab uh, but it's got an auxiliary power outlet right, right here in the end of it that I usually uh, use that for the weed sprayer but uh, now it'll be uh, for the dump car as well so we're almost done here. We'll get these bolts put in the box. I'll get the motor wired up. I got the cable hanging down right here uh, that hooks up to the, to the motor. And uh, we'll tie everything up and power it up. Motor is all tied in now electrically. All good there. Cable's tied up. Box is closed up. Uh, still don't have the uh, conduit going between the boxes and uh, already uh, in the last uh, week uh, since I was working on this the mice got in and uh, ate my cable so uh, yeah we definitely need that conduit in there but uh, I got the, the buttons here uh, this is a start stop and then this is an open close switch uh, so let's try it out and see how it works That's nice. Check out the other side. I'd say this is a success and it's going to save a lot of labor uh, not having to crank on these doors anymore. I'm just so happy that I found these motors. Uh, in the back of the barn. These things, I, I just can't believe how perfect uh, it all worked out. And uh, if you guys know anything about these motors, it says um, Eclipse Aircraft Engine Starter. Uh, maybe some of you have seen this thing before or worked on it uh, in your military service. Uh, what kind of plane did these things come off of? Uh, lots of power. Nice little motors. Uh, oh, I'll show you too how this plugs into uh, the back of the steeple cab now, so we just got this power cable here uh, Should work out very nice
enjoyed watching this uh, little modification come together. I'm certainly looking forward to using it. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe. Uh, all that means a lot to me because uh, those views help me buy supplies for out here. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.